two weeks till election day, just two days until the early voting period gets underway in Maryland. And the top two candidates for U.S. Senate are working to connect with and win over voters. It was so nice to meet you. Republican candidate Larry Hogan stopped at a deli in Owings Mills. We wanted to not only invest in our kids, but invest in the local economy. Democratic candidate Angela Alsobrook spent time at a barber shop in Largo. Both nominees for U.S. Senate in Maryland entered this final stretch by reaching out to voters on the ground and over the air, too. Also, Brooks out with a new TV ad featuring Democratic presidential nominee Kamala Harris. We need Angela Also Brooks in the United States Senate because she gets results. The Also Brooks campaign telling 11 News it's the only TV ad the vice president cut for another candidate in this election. Hogan went on the radio. Two weeks to go. We're going to go pull this one out and win a big one. Telling C4 and Brian Neiman he's used to running as the underdog and winning in the end. There are folks who thought I did a good job as governor that voted for me twice that we've got to convince that I'm going to be the same kind of strong independent leader that's going to stand up and do what's right for all Marylanders. Also, Brooks countered by concentrating on her message about the future. I think that that, that message is resonating with Marylanders who say um, that, you know what, they maybe they voted for him for governor, but recognize that the Senate is a totally different body where you vote along with people in your caucus. According to the State Board of Elections, nearly 400,000 Marylanders have already voted by mail in the 2024 presidential election. Early voting gets underway on Thursday with early voting sites statewide open during that period from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. In Largo, I'm Kate Amara, WBAL TV 11 News.